Vesta, minor planet designation, 4 Vesta, is one of the largest objects in the asteroid belt with a mean diameter of 525 kilometers (326 miles). It was discovered by the German astronomer Heinrich Wilhelm Olbers on the 29th of March 1807 and is named after Vesta, the virgin goddess of home and hearth from Roman mythology. Vesta is the second most massive and second largest body in the asteroid belt after the dwarf planet Ceres, and it contributes an estimated 9% of the mass of the asteroid belt. It is slightly larger than Pallas, though significantly more massive. Vesta is the only known remaining rocky protoplanet with a differentiated interior of the kind that formed the terrestrial planets. Numerous fragments of Vesta were ejected by collisions one and two billion years ago that left two enormous craters occupying much of Vesta's southern hemisphere. Debris from these events has fallen to Earth as Howardite Eukrite Diogenite head meteorites, which have been a rich source of information about Vesta. Vesta is the brightest asteroid visible from Earth. Its maximum distance from the Sun is slightly greater than the minimum distance of Ceres from the Sun, though its orbit lies entirely within that of Ceres. NASA's Dawn spacecraft entered orbit around Vesta on the 16th of July 2011 for a one-year exploration and left orbit on the 5th of September 2012 en route to its final destination, Ceres. Researchers continue to examine data collected by Dawn for additional insights into the formation and history of Vesta. History <inaudible> Discovery Heinrich Olbers discovered Pallas in 1802, the year after the discovery of Ceres. He proposed that the two objects were the remnants of a destroyed planet. He sent a letter with his proposal to the English astronomer William Herschel, suggesting that a search near the locations where the orbits of Ceres and Pallas intersected might reveal more fragments. These orbital intersections were located in the constellations of Cetus and Virgo. Olbers commenced his search in 1802, and on 29 March 1807 he discovered Vesta in the constellation Virgo. A coincidence, because Ceres, Pallas, and Vesta are not fragments of a larger body. Because the asteroid Juno had been discovered in 1804, this made Vesta the fourth object to be identified in the region that is now known as the asteroid belt. The discovery was announced in a letter addressed to German astronomer Johann H. Schroeder dated 31 March. Because Olbers already had credit for discovering a planet Pallas, at the time, the asteroids were considered to be planets, he gave the honor of naming his new discovery to German mathematician Carl Friedrich Gauss, whose orbital calculations had enabled astronomers to confirm the existence of Ceres, the first asteroid, and who had computed the orbit of the new planet in the remarkably short time of ten hours. Gauss decided on the Roman virgin goddess of home and hearth, Vesta. Name Vesta was the fourth asteroid to be discovered, hence the number four in its formal designation. The name Vesta, or national variants thereof, is in international use with two exceptions, Greece and China. In Greek, the name adopted was the Hellenic equivalent of Vesta, Hestia for Estia. In English, that name is used for 46 Hestia Greeks use the name Hestia for both, with the minor planet numbers used for disambiguation. In Chinese, Vesta is called the Hearth God des Star, Zhao Shen Xing Zhao Shen Xing, naming the asteroid for Vesta's role rather than literally transliterating her name into Chinese, as is done with other bodies discovered in modern times, including Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. Upon its discovery, Vesta was, like Ceres, Pallas, and Juno before it, classified as a planet and given a planetary symbol. The symbol representing the altar of Vesta with its sacred fire and was designed by Gauss. In Gauss's conception, this was drawn, in its modern form, it is. After the discovery of Vesta, no further objects were discovered for 38 years, and the solar system was thought to have 11 planets. However, in 1845, new asteroids started being discovered at a rapid pace, and by 1851 there were 15, each with its own symbol, in addition to the eight major planets Neptune had been discovered in 1846. It soon became clear that it would be impractical to continue inventing new planetary symbols indefinitely, and some of the existing ones proved difficult to draw quickly. That year, the problem was addressed by Benjamin Apthorpe Gould, who suggested numbering asteroids in their order of discovery, and placing this number in a disk circle as the generic symbol of an asteroid. Thus, the fourth asteroid, Vesta, acquired the generic symbol. 
This was soon coupled with the name into an official number name designation, Vesta, as the number of minor planets increased. By 1858, the circle had been simplified to parentheses, for Vesta, which were easier to typeset. Other punctuation, such as for Vesta and for Vesta, was also used, but had more or less completely died out by 1949. Today, either Vesta, or, more commonly, for Vesta, is used. Topic. Early measurements Photometric observations of Vesta were made at the Harvard College Observatory in 1880–1882 and at the Observatoire de Toulouse in 1909. These and other observations allowed the rotation rate of Vesta to be determined by the 1950s. However, the early estimates of the rotation rate came into question because the light curve included variations in both shape and albedo. Early estimates of the diameter of Vesta ranged from 383 in 1825 to 444 kilometers. E.C. Pickering produced an estimated diameter of 513 plus or minus 17 kilometers in 1879, which is close to the modern value for the mean diameter, but the subsequent estimates ranged from a low of 390 kilometers up to a high of 602 kilometers during the next century. The measured estimates were based on photometry. In 1989, speckle interferometry was used to measure a dimension that varied between 498 and 548 km during the rotational period. In 1991, an occultation of the star Sao 93228 by Vesta was observed from multiple locations in the eastern United States and Canada. Based on observations from 14 different sites, the best fit to the data was an elliptical profile with dimensions of about 550 km x 462 km. Don confirmed this measurement. Vesta became the first asteroid to have its mass determined. Every 18 years, the asteroid 197 Arete approaches within 0.04 astronomical units of Vesta. In 1966, based upon observations of Vesta's gravitational perturbations of Arete, Hans G. Hertz estimated the mass of Vesta as 1.20 plus or minus 0.08 times 10 minus 10 solar masses. More refined estimates followed, and in 2001 the perturbations of 17 Thetis were used to estimate the mass of Vesta as 1.31 plus or minus 0.02 times 10 minus 10 solar masses. Topic. Orbit Vesta orbits the Sun between Mars and Jupiter, within the asteroid belt, with a period of 3.6 Earth years, specifically in the inner asteroid belt, interior to the Kirkwood gap at 2.50 astronomical units. Its orbit is moderately inclined I 7.1 degrees, compared to 7 degrees for Mercury and 17 degrees for Pluto and moderately eccentric e. 0.09, about the same as for Mars, true orbital resonances between asteroids are considered unlikely, due to their small masses relative to their large separations, such relationships should be very rare. Nevertheless, Vesta is able to capture other asteroids into temporary one-to-one -one resonant orbital relationships for periods up to two million years or more, about 40 such objects have been identified. Decameter-sized objects detected in the vicinity of Vesta by dawn may be such quasi-satellites rather than proper satellites. <laughs> Rotation Vesta's rotation is relatively fast for an asteroid 5.342h and prograde, with the north pole pointing in the direction of right ascension 20h 32 minutes, declination plus 48 degrees in the constellation Cygnus with an uncertainty of about 10 degrees. This gives an axial tilt of 29 degrees. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Coordinate systems. There are two longitudinal coordinate systems in use for Vesta, with prime meridians separated by 150 degrees. The IAU established a coordinate system in 1997 based on Hubble photos, with the prime meridian running through the center of Olbers Regio, a dark feature 200 km across. 
When dawn arrived at Vesta, mission scientists found that the location of the pole assumed by the IAU was off by 10 degrees, so that the IAU coordinate system drifted across the surface of Vesta at 0.06 degrees per year, and also that Olber's regio was not discernible from up close, and so was not adequate to define the prime meridian with the precision they needed. They corrected the pole, but also established a new prime meridian 4 degrees from the center of Claudia, a sharply defined crater 700 meters across, which they say results in a more logical set of mapping quadrangles. All NASA publications, including images and maps of Vesta, use the Claudian meridian, which is unacceptable to the IAU. The IAU Working Group on Cartographic Coordinates and Rotational Elements recommended a coordinate system, correcting the pole but rotating the Claudian longitude by 150 degrees to coincide with Olber's regio. It was accepted by the IAU, though it disrupts the maps prepared by the Dawn team, which had been positioned so they would not bisect any major surface features. Topic. Physical characteristics. Vesta is the second most massive body in the asteroid belt, though only 28% as massive as Ceres. Vesta's density is lower than those of the four terrestrial planets, but higher than that of most asteroids and all of the moons in the solar system except Io. Vesta's surface area is about the same as that of Pakistan about 800,000 square kilometers. It has a differentiated interior. Vesta is only slightly larger, 525.4 plus or minus 0.2 kilometers than Two Pallas, 512 plus or minus 3 kilometers in volume, but is about 25% more massive. Vesta's shape is close to a gravitationally relaxed oblate spheroid, but the large concavity and protrusion at the southern pole see surface features below combined with a mass less than 5 times 1,020 kg precluded Vesta from automatically being considered a dwarf planet under International Astronomical Union IAU Resolution 26-5. A 2012 analysis of Vesta's shape and gravity field using data gathered by the Dawn spacecraft has shown that Vesta is currently not in hydrostatic equilibrium. Temperatures on the surface have been estimated to lie between about minus 20 degrees Celsius with the Sun overhead, dropping to about minus 190 degrees Celsius at the winter pole. Typical daytime and nighttime temperatures are minus 60 degrees Celsius and minus 130 degrees Celsius, respectively. This estimate is for 6 May 1996, very close to perihelion, although details vary somewhat with the seasons. Topic. Surface features Prior to the arrival of the Dawn spacecraft, some Vestan surface features had already been resolved using the Hubble Space Telescope and ground-based telescopes e.g. the Keck Observatory. The arrival of Dawn in July 2011 revealed the complex surface of Vesta in detail. <inaudible> Rhea Silvia and Venenea craters The most prominent of these surface features are two enormous craters, the 500-kilometre wide Rhea Silvia crater, centered near the South Pole, and the 400-kilometre wide Venenea crater. The Rhea Silvia crater is younger and overlies the Venenea crater. The Dawn science team named the younger, more prominent crater Rhea Silvia, after the mother of Romulus and Remus and a mythical Vestal Virgin. Its width is 95% of the mean diameter of Vesta. The crater is about 19 km 12 miles deep. A central peak rises 23 km above the lowest measured part of the crater floor and the highest measured part of the crater rim is 31 km above the crater floor low point. It is estimated that the impact responsible excavated about 1% of the volume of Vesta, and it is likely that the Vesta family and V-type asteroids are the products of this collision. If this is the case, then the fact that 10 km fragments have survived bombardment until the present indicates that the crater is at most only about 1 billion year old. It would also be the site of origin of the head meteorites. All the known V-type asteroids taken together account for only about 6% of the ejected volume, with the rest presumably either in small fragments, ejected by approaching the 3-1 Kirkwood gap, or perturbed away by the Yarkovsky effect or radiation pressure. 
Spectroscopic analyses of the Hubble images have shown that this crater has penetrated deep through several distinct layers of the crust, and possibly into the mantle, as indicated by spectral signatures of olivine. The large peak at the center of Ria Silvia is 20 to 25 kilometers (12 to 16 miles) high and 180 kilometers (110 miles) wide, and is possibly a result of a planetary scale impact. Topic: Other craters. Several old, degraded craters rival Ria Silvia and Venenea in size, though none are quite so large. They include Feralia Planitia, shown at right, which is 270 km across. More recent, sharper craters range up to 158 km 98 miles Veronia and 196 km 122 miles Postumia. Topic. Snowman craters. The «snowman craters» is an informal name given to a group of three adjacent craters in Vesta's northern hemisphere. Their official names from largest to smallest west to east are Marcia, Calpurnia, and Minucha. Marcia is the youngest and cross-cuts Calpurnia. Minucha is the oldest. Troughs <laughs> 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 The majority of the equatorial region of Vesta is sculpted by a series of concentric troughs. The largest is named Devalia Fossa, 10 to 20 kilometers wide, 465 kilometers long. Despite the fact that Vesta is a one seventh the size of the Moon, Devalia Fossa dwarfs the Grand Canyon. A second series, inclined to the equator, is found further north. The largest of the northern troughs is named Saturnalia Fossa, approximately equals 40 km wide, greater than 370 km long. These troughs are thought to be large-scale graben resulting from the impacts that created Ria Silvia and Venenea craters, respectively. They are some of the longest chasms in the solar system, nearly as long as Ithaca Chasma on Tethys. The troughs may be graben that formed after another asteroid collided with Vesta, a process that can happen only in a body that, like Vesta, is differentiated. Vesta's differentiation is one of the reasons why scientists consider it a protoplanet. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Surface composition. Compositional information from the visible and infrared spectrometer VIR, gamma ray and neutron detector GRAN, and framing camera FC, all indicate that the majority of the surface composition of Vesta is consistent with the composition of the Howardite, Eucrite, and Diogenite meteorites. The Ria Silvia region is richest in Diogenite, consistent with the Ria Silvia forming impact excavating material from deeper within Vesta. The presence of olivine within the Ria Silvia region would also be consistent with excavation of mantle material. However, olivine has only been detected in localized regions of the northern hemisphere, not within Ria Silvia. The origin of this olivine is currently uncertain. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Features associated with volatiles. Pitted terrain has been observed in four craters on Vesta, Martia, Cornelia, Numisia and Licinia. The formation of the pitted terrain is proposed to be degassing of impact heated volatile bearing material. Along with the pitted terrain, curvilinear gullies are found in Martia and Cornelia craters. The curvilinear gullies end in lobate deposits, which are sometimes covered by pitted terrain, and are proposed to form by the transient flow of liquid water after buried deposits of ice were melted by the heat of the impacts. Hydrated materials have also been detected, many of which are associated with areas of dark material. Consequently, dark material is thought to be largely composed of carbonaceous chondrite, which was deposited on the surface by impacts. Carbonaceous chondrites are comparatively rich in mineralogically bound O. <laughs> Geology There is a large collection of potential samples from Vesta accessible to scientists, in the form of over 1200 head meteorites Vestan achondrites, giving insight into Vesta's geologic history and structure. NASA Infrared Telescope Facility NASA IRTF studies of asteroid 237442-1999TA10 suggest that it originated from deeper within Vesta than the head meteorites. Vesta is thought to consist of a metallic iron nickel core 214 to 226 km in diameter, an overlying rocky olivine mantle, with a surface crust. 
from the first appearance of calcium aluminium rich inclusions the first solid matter in the solar system forming about 4.567 billion years ago a likely timeline is as follows vesta is the only known intact asteroid that has been resurfaced in this manner because of this some scientists refer to vesta as a protoplanet However, the presence of iron meteorites and achondritic meteorite classes without identified parent bodies indicates that there once were other differentiated planetesimals with igneous histories, which have since been shattered by impacts. On the basis of the sizes of V-type asteroids thought to be pieces of Vesta's crust ejected during large impacts, and the depth of Rhea Silvia crater see below, the crust is thought to be roughly 10 km 6 miles thick. Findings from the Dawn spacecraft have found evidence that the troughs that wrap around Vesta could be graben formed by impact-induced faulting see troughs section above, meaning that Vesta has more complex geology than other asteroids. Vesta could have been classified as a dwarf planet if it had retained a spherical shape, and it has other qualities that lead to the thought it could be a protoplanet. The only thing that knocked it out of the category of a dwarf planet was the formation of two large impact basins at its southern pole. At the time of these impacts Vesta was not warm and plastic enough to return to a shape in hydrostatic equilibrium. Regolith Vesta's surface is covered by regolith distinct from that found on the Moon or asteroids such as Itakawa. This is because space weathering acts differently. Vesta's surface shows no significant trace of nanophase iron because the impact speeds on Vesta are too low to make rock melting and vaporization an appreciable process. Instead, regolith evolution is dominated by brecciation and subsequent mixing of bright and dark components. The dark component is probably due to the infall of carbonaceous material, whereas the bright component is the original Vesta basaltic soil. Fragments. Some small solar system bodies are suspected to be fragments of Vesta caused by impacts. The Vestian asteroids and head meteorites are examples. The V-type asteroid 1929 Kala has been determined to have a composition akin to cumulate eucrite meteorites, indicating its origin deep within Vesta's crust. Vesta is currently one of only six identified solar system bodies of which we have physical samples, coming from a number of meteorites suspected to be Vestan fragments. It is estimated that 1 out of 16 meteorites originated from Vesta. The other identified solar system samples are from Earth itself, meteorites from Mars, meteorites from the Moon, and samples returned from the Moon, the comet Wild 2, and the asteroid 25143 Itakawa. <laughs> Exploration In 1981, a proposal for an asteroid mission was submitted to the European Space Agency ESA. Named the Asteroidal Gravity Optical and Radar Analysis Agora, this spacecraft was to launch some time in 1990-1994 and perform two flybys of large asteroids. The preferred target for this mission was Vesta. Agora would reach the asteroid belt either by a gravitational slingshot trajectory past Mars or by means of a small ion engine. However, the proposal was refused by the ESA. A joint NASA-ESA asteroid mission was then drawn up for a multiple asteroid orbiter with solar electric propulsion with one of the mission profiles including an orbit of Vesta. NASA indicated they were not interested in an asteroid mission. Instead, the ESA set up a technological study of a spacecraft with an ion drive. Other missions to the asteroid belt were proposed in the 1980s by France, Germany, Italy and the United States, but none were approved. Exploration of Vesta by flyby and impacting penetrator was the second main target of the first plan of the multi-aimed Soviet Vesta mission, developed in cooperation with European countries for realization in 1991-1994 but cancelled due to the Soviet Union disbanding. In the early 1990s, NASA initiated the Discovery Program, which was intended to be a series of low-cost scientific missions. In 1996, the program's study team recommended a mission to explore the asteroid belt using a spacecraft with an ion engine as a high priority. Funding for this program remained problematic for several years, but by 2004 the Dawn vehicle had passed its critical design review and construction proceeded. It launched on 27 September 2007 as the first space mission to Vesta. 
On 3 May 2011, Dawn acquired its first targeting image 1.2 million kilometers from Vesta. On 16 July 2011, NASA confirmed that it received telemetry from Dawn indicating that the spacecraft successfully entered Vesta's orbit. It was scheduled to orbit Vesta for one year, until July 2012. Dawn's arrival coincided with late summer in the southern hemisphere of Vesta, with the large crater at Vesta's south pole in sunlight. Because a season on Vesta lasts 11 months, the northern hemisphere, including anticipated compression fractures opposite the crater, would become visible to Dawn's cameras before it left orbit. Dawn left orbit around Vesta on 4 September 2012 11.26 p.m. PDT to travel to Ceres, NASA, DLR released imagery and summary information from a survey orbit, two high-altitude orbits 60 to 70 meters, pixel, and a low-altitude mapping orbit 20 meters, pixel, including digital terrain models, videos and atlases. Scientists also used DAWN to calculate Vesta's precise mass and gravity field. The subsequent determination of the J2 component yielded a core diameter estimate of about 220 km assuming a crustal density similar to that of the head. Dawn data can be accessed by the public at the UCLA website. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Observations from Earth orbit. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Observations from Dawn. Vesta comes into view as the Dawn spacecraft approaches and enters orbit. Topic. True color images Detailed images retrieved during the high altitude 60 to 70 meters pixel and low altitude approximately 20 meters pixel mapping orbits are available on the Dawn mission website of JPL, NASA. Topic. Visibility. Its size and unusually bright surface make Vesta the brightest asteroid, and it is occasionally visible to the naked eye from dark skies without light pollution. In May and June 2007, Vesta reached a peak magnitude of plus 5.4, the brightest since 1989. At that time, opposition and perihelion were only a few weeks apart. It was brighter still at its the 22nd of June 2018 opposition, reaching a magnitude of plus 5.3. Less favorable oppositions during late autumn 2008 in the northern hemisphere still had Vesta at a magnitude of from plus 6.5 to plus 7.3. Even when in conjunction with the Sun, Vesta will have a magnitude around plus 8.5, thus from a pollution-free sky it can be observed with binoculars even at elongations much smaller than near opposition. 2010-2011 In 2010, Vesta reached opposition in the constellation of Leo on the night of 17 to 18 February at about magnitude 6.1, a brightness that makes it visible in binocular range but generally not for the naked eye. Under perfect dark sky conditions where all light pollution is absent, it might be visible to an experienced observer without the use of a telescope or binoculars. Vesta came to opposition again on the 5th of August 2011 in the constellation of Capricornus at about magnitude 5.6. Topic: 2012-2013. Vesta was at opposition again on the 9th of December 2012. According to Sky and Telescope magazine, this year Vesta came within about 6 degrees of 1 series during the winter of 2012 and spring 2013. Vesta orbits the Sun in 3.63 years and Ceres in 4.6 years, so every 17 years Vesta overtakes Ceres the last overtaking was in 1996. On December 1, 2012, Vesta had a magnitude of 6.6, .6, but decreasing to 8.4 by May 1, 2013. 2014 Ceres and Vesta came within one degree of each other in the night sky in July 2014. Topic. See also. Topic. Notes. Topic. References. Topic. General references. External links 
Shiga, David. Dawn captures first orbital image of asteroid Vesta. New Scientist. Retrieved the 7th of August 2011. Amos, Jonathan. The 22nd of July 2011. Vesta rock turns for dawn probe. BBC Online. BBC News. Archived from the original on the 28th of July 2011. Retrieved the 14th of August 2011. Kramer, Ken. The 23rd of July 2011. Dawn spirals down closer to Vesta's South Pole impact basin. Universe Today. Retrieved the 14th of August 2011. Space Telescope Science Institute, 2009. Hubble, 2008. Science Year in Review. NASA Goddard Space Flight Center. P. 66. VestaTrek, an integrated 3D map browser of all available datasets and maps for 4 Vesta JPL Ephemeris NASA's Dawn spacecraft Views of the Solar System, Vesta HubbleSite, Hubble maps the asteroid Vesta Encyclopedia Britannica, Vesta, full article HubbleSite, short movie composed from Hubble Space Telescope images from November 1994 Adaptive optics views of Vesta from Keck Observatory Four Vesta images at ESA, Hubble Hubble views of Vesta on the Planetary Society weblog includes animation Dawn at Vesta NASA press kit on Dawn's operations at Vesta NASA video Vesta Atlas Vesta to scale 1 PDS small bodies image browser DLR public Dawn products site News articles Differentiated interior of Vesta Hubble site, Hubble reveals huge crater on the surface of the asteroid Vesta Horton, Adam. NASA's Dawn mission creates four Vesta geological map. 14 December 2014. Four Vesta at ASTDYS2, asteroids Dynamic site Ephemeris observation prediction orbital info proper elements observational info 4 Vesta at the JPL Small Body Database Close Approach Discovery Ephemeris Orbit Diagram Orbital Elements Physical Parameters <laughs>